sorry for the wind noise. It is very, very windy today, but I'm down pretty deep there, and I just pulled up that, which is my first wheat penny for the day. I was able to catch a date on it. It is a 1940 on the dot. So I'll take that. It's a good start. Let's see if we get something else. So I'm still going at this park, and I just pulled up this nickel, and even though it is a Jefferson, it is a 1941, so get a little bit older there. Well, I'll take that. Let's see if we get something else. So I was down really, really deep, and I just pulled up this bit here, which appears to have some fancy on it, and if I flip it over, if I flip it over, it's got the teeth that you'd see on a suspender clip, so I'm guessing it's a piece off of that. Either way, it's definitely got some H2 and it's a really cool find. So on the patch side will go, let's see if we can get some more. So I'm down really deep again. Everything in this park seems like it's at least six, eight inches deep, but I just pulled up this buckle here. It's made of iron, it's got the, uh, it's got an old look to it. It was down pretty deep, so I'm gonna guess it's pretty old. Not sure what it came off of though. Either way, it's a really cool find. Let's see if we get something else. Well, I'm down pretty deep again, as you can see, and there's a coin down in the hole. It was ringing low, so it's going to be a nickel. Oh, that's a buffalo. That's another one. What is that now? Two this week? I'll take it for sure. Uh, I'm not getting much detail on it. I'm going to go and get this cleaned up a little bit better, and I'll loop you back in if I got a date. So here's the buffalo nickel all cleaned up. It is a 1936, so a newer one. Not in the greatest of shape. The ground's a little bit tough on these nickels here. But that's still a really great find. I'll take it for sure. So in the pouch that'll go, and let's see if we get something else. So I just popped out the plug on a pull tap signal, and I see a nickel looking back at me. The only two nickels I've dug today have both been good ones. So we're gonna reveal this one live. Oh my gosh, it's another buffalo. That is my first ever two buffalo day. So maybe this one will have another date. I'm about to find out. So sorry for such an abrupt cutoff in the last clip. My phone actually died midway through filming. However, it is now charged and here's that buffalo nickel all cleaned up. It is very dateless as you can see. I may try and nickel date this at some point, but from my experience, nickel date does not do much on these dateless dug nickels. Here's the back of the coin. It's a little bit better than the front, but still pretty toasty. Either way, that's a really cool find, number two for the day. Then the patch that'll go. Let's see if we get some more. So as you can see, I totally botched the plug here. I had to cut into the sidewall, but as I was pulling the second plug, look what popped out at me. That's number three for the day. Man, that is incredible. What is the date on that one? 30 something, 38 it looks like. So we got a last year Buffalo nickel to go along with a 36 and a dateless. There's the back of that coin. That is a beautiful coin. This one's a little bit nicer than the other two, but hey, number three for the day, I'll take it. In the patch that'll go, and let's see if we get something else. So I am way down there again. If you can't see, that's about pinpointer deep. And there is a very green looking coin looking back at me. I have no clue what it is just yet. Whatever it is, it is just white. Well, I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and if I can get some detail off of it, I'll loop you back in. Well, here's that coin all cleaned up. I do see Lincoln and I see what I believe is 1911, so that's just going to make that an old, old wheat. Either way, that's number two for the day. Let's see if we can get some more. Tom's called me over. He's got his camera out, so I think it's going to be good. Ooh, what does he have there? Oh, is that a... It's that's an anchor a, button. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's, that's going to be Look really old. That. Okay, is it just I, the face, or does it have a shank on the back? No, I don't think there's a shank. I think it was a... Oh, there is. There's a little piece of where it used to be. It's been busted off, but... Hey, that's still a really, really old button. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're kind of out literally in the middle of nowhere. We think Mind that there I take might a have look been at that. an old ferry crossing there. There it is, if it'll focus look, so. for me. That's the first real wow. evidence we found. Wow. So. There it goes. Yeah. 
but we'll uh, we'll see you soon hopefully with another good target yeah we'll get this brushed off and i'll get you a better look when it's all cleaned up so here's tom's button all cleaned up that is a beautiful anchor button we're not entirely sure on the id but when we get one i'll go ahead and throw it up for you um the back is not just shankless but it was an iron back and it is no more either way that's a really, really cool piece of history. So hopefully we can get something else. So it's looking like today is going to be the Tom show because he just pulled up this old, old looking bullet here. I would not doubt that that is 1800s with that crude rifling. Either way, it's a really cool find. Let's see if we can get something else. Well, I just pulled up this bit here. I have no clue what it is. I thought maybe a fishing sinker at first, but I don't see the seam to clip it to a line so I think it's a potential musket ball if I get an a for sure ID I'll go ahead and throw it up for you but I'll take it whatever it is it is lead so worst case scenario I can melt this down either way in the pouch that'll go let's see if we get something else well I just pulled up this here and I know it's just a shotgun shell but it is the first one I've ever found with a date on it this one being 1901 Oh, well, that was kind of interesting, so I'll put that in the pouch, and I'll see if we can get some more. Well, we've moved on to a different field on the same property, and I just pulled up this little bullet. Uh, not sure on the age, but it could be pretty old. Smaller than a 22, it looks like, but either way, I'll take it. I'll see if we get something else. Hey, everybody. Buggy to back with another wrap-up. I first want to start off by saying huge congrats to Tom on the awesome button he found. That's a really cool piece of history. Anyway, here's my take from that site. I got a big pile of ammunition, a couple of shotgun head stamps. This one in particular actually has a date on it of 1901, which was pretty cool. And onto the lead, I actually was able to get this bit here, which it's hard to see, but there is a sprue on there that basically is 100% positive identification that this is in fact a musket ball. So that's probably going to put this Civil War era, I mean, and there was some early activity at that site. I also got a couple small, probably 22 bullets. Those ones look like they have some age to them as well. And then from the park, had a really good day there. I got this old iron buckle, uh, buttony thing, as well as this suspender clip, which it's beaten pretty bad, but still really cool to find nonetheless. Got a lot of coins that day as well, including two wheat heads, a 1940 and a 1911 if you catch it in just the right light. Got a 1941 Jefferson and then three buffaloes in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back plugs. I cannot say I have done that before, but the first one here is just a slick, dateless one. Got a 1936 here. And then a 1938, and this one actually did have a Denver mitt mark on it, if you can see that. And then here's the back of the other Buffalo Nichols. Well, it's nice to have a little trifecta there. Anyway, that was my hunt, guys. Thanks again for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Bug Eater, signing out.